It's the weekend wine. It's the weekend wine. It's the weekend wine. It's the weekend wine. G three, G three. What's going on, my beautiful G3 family? Welcome back to Goddess Guidance. And to all my new viewers, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Welcome to Goddess Guidance. My name is Jasmine, but you can call me the Lemurian Goddess. And I'm here to bring you guys the weekend wine. So come on, give your girl a like, share, and subscribe. Join the G3 family. I would love to have you. If you're all about ascension, growth, elevation, for motion, okay, then baby, this is where you need to be. It's no if, ands, or buts about it. It just is what it is, okay? Um, thank you to everyone who um, books and donates to Goddess Guidance. Thank you so much. If you are looking to book a personal, all of my information is down below. If you are looking to donate to Goddess Guidance, thank you so much in advance, and all of that information is down below as well. Um, I got a 16K flash sale going on this weekend. Yes, sir. So, um, up until the 22nd, you can get a three-card spread with clarifiers. Um, I have 16K followers on my Instagram. So, yeah, if you want, if you have Instagram, go follow your sis, all right? It's the goddess underscore OA, okay? That's my only page. It's mad scammers out here acting crazy, all right? But don't, don't, don't give no life, no energy to the scammers, all right? I only, I'm only at the goddess underscore OA, okay? The goddess underscore OA. That's my only page, all right? Anyway, yeah, so if you want to participate in the flash sale, please do, please do. Um, now, let's get into this energy, G3. G3, first of all, you are beautiful. Let's start there. I feel like you are so beautiful. And I feel like, you know, just this, this beautiful energy of yours is bringing you before great people. Yeah. Queen Esther is here, the morning star. She says, my ego is in service of my soul, and I trust my soul's divine timing. Queen Esther was recognized for her beauty, but she was not only beautiful, she was smart, okay? She knew how to listen to her intuition. She knew how to follow her inner guide, okay? She knew how to listen to the God within her okay, to, to save her people. She knew what to do, when to do it, because the Holy Spirit guided her. That means that she had to surrender to her Holy Spirit. That means that she had to, it, she, it says, my ego is in service of my soul. That means that the ego had to be in service of the, to the soul. It had to listen to the soul. It was very, it was very crucial for her to listen to her soul because she needed to be in certain places. She needed to do certain things. She needed to bring her, herself in front of the king. She needed to save her people. And that's what she did because she was guided. Everything was going, every, it was a divine timeline that she had to listen to the soul in order to be on this divine timeline. So G3, Queen Esther is here letting you know that it's your soul. And you have to surrender the ego to the soul because your soul is trying to guide you along some type of divine timeline, okay? They need you to be in certain positions. They need you to be at certain places. They need you to be doing certain things so you can be noticed, seen, you know? So you can save your people. Save your bloodline. Save and break the generational curses. Ah, I love this. I love this energy. Goddess of sacred power is here. You are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. Exactly. 
Exactly. This is, it says, and then the angel of the universe is here. You are being encouraged to, to expand your thinking. So it's a lot of encouragement here. I feel like the universe is trying to encourage you. The universe is trying to show you who you are. The universe is trying to show you how magical you are, how powerful you are, how beautiful you are, how smart you are. I feel like the universe is really trying to get you to see this. It's trying to encourage you to move in your power, in your truth, in your authority. Go ahead. Because there's people day and night, day and night, trying to disrupt your, your routine. Yeah, I was picking up on something like this, okay? Because dare is here, all right? Somebody's spirit animal can be a dare, very connected to dares. You can be seeing a lot of dares. You could be seeing a lot of dares. But dares are... Once they get on some type of routine, they stay on that routine. And once they, and when they stay on that routine, they become predictable, right? And then people that hunt deers knows how, where to, to, to set up and where to be because this is the, the same tree that the deer is going to eat from. Once the deer find this, there's food at this tree or there's something, every day they're going to come back to that. So now everybody who was hunting the deer is in the trees <laughs> waiting for the deer to go to its favorite place ah uh, g3 they trying to set you up here this is why the universe is encouraging you to i don't we're gonna get deep into into the cards but they're encouraging you to listen to your intuition at this time to really listen to your intuition because it's people trying to set you up. It's people that know that that's trying to figure out your routine. And they're doing this day and night because the moon and the sun is here. And I feel like the, the eclipse was very important or significant in for whatever is going on. Because I feel like something is being eclipsed out of your life. People are being eclipsed out of your life and people don't like this. So they're trying to find a way to either... Uh, uh, catch you somewhere they want to stay when they, they're trying to meet up somewhere some type of routine they're trying to find where you at they're trying to you know run up on you i was picking up on tasers too so just be mindful okay because i don't know people are day and night are trying to find a way to disturb your routine like i said or catch you somewhere okay so just trust your intuition. If there's a favorite place that you like to go, that you always be going there, and something about your intuition is telling you don't go there today, don't go there today. Like literally listen to your intuition right now because you are expanding. You have the, the, you have the universe backing you. The universe, you have God, you have mother, you have your ancestors literally on your side. You have sacred power. And this is why they're trying to get you. You have sacred power. That means that you have creative power. That means that whatever you create, whatever you put your hands on, turns to gold. That means that they want to cut off your hands. They don't want you to do whatever you do with your hands. That means they want to they wanna take out your tongue. Because at the end of the day, whatever you create from your mouth, it, it turns into gold. That means that they want to they wanna cut off your feet. Because whatever your, wherever your feet is at, it turns into gold. So they, they want to just be mindful. Because you are a being of sacred power, creative power. And it's something about your sexual energy here too. It's like that you, maybe somebody somebody is like trying to either send you sexual energy. They want you. They want to have sex with you. I'm picking up on something. Like, okay. And it's so funny. It's so funny, G3, because I'm picking up on two. It's like two sides of the coin for real. It's literally two sides of, of, of some of, of 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 this energy. Okay. Because on one side. It's like, it's people that's trying to attack this creative power. They, they're trying to uh, attack whatever, whatever you're, whatever you're, you know, co-creating. They're trying to attack that. But on the other side, it's a, something beautiful is happening here. Because when I shook the dice, I got Taurus with Venus in the seventh house. 
So there is some type of love. There is some type of, you know, um, I'm picking up on some type of real love here. Okay. It's real love here. And somebody wants to take action towards you. And that's not Taurus. Is that? No, that's Aries. So there could be a Taurus. I'm picking up on Taurus energy. But that's Aries. Somebody, yeah. Somebody made up their mind. Thank you, mother. Somebody made up their mind when it comes to love. And they want to take action. So it's like, it's two things going on here. You know, it's one side, like I said, there's a tax and then there's other sides, but there's, there's great things coming towards you, but they're telling you to, to take a leading role. Okay. And to really, you know, see what's going on, see what's happening in your life. See that. Okay. It's, it's people trying to attack you on one side, but there's beautiful things going on on the other side. So, so, so it's like. Turn your focus to the things that you love or, or, and, and, and listen to your soul. Let, 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 that's really what's going on right now. Listen to your intuition. Because like I said, it's people trying to set you up. So you got to listen to your intuition because there's great things coming towards you. And that's what people trying, they're either trying to stop that or trying to make you think that they're that. But you got to listen to your intuition. Your soul is guiding you right now. And it's, and it's just facts. Okay, they want to eclipse you out for real. Okay, and I'm and they doing this shit day and night is what I'm hearing. Okay, and from, somebody probably feel like they got you down pat, and that's just, <laughs> thank you, mother. See, the thing about you, G three, you you know how to switch it up. So when they tell you to switch it up, switch it up. When they tell you to do something different, do something different. See, it, that's not hard for you. It's hard for people that are stuck in routines and stuff. That's not hard for you. And I feel like somebody thinks. Just because maybe you are connected to deers. Maybe you, you do have a per you know, once you once you get in the routine, you you can, you know, you, you stay in that flow. But they don't understand that you can you can change the flow. You don't gotta always go to that same bush. You can go somewhere else. You have different you it's like your guys, you you have the map. Yeah, something about you having the map. They're trying to, they're trying to stop, like run you down and try to like learn some type of routine about you, but you have a map. You don't got to stay somewhere. And that's what they don't understand. They try to hunt you down day and night, but they keep, they keep missing. They keep missing because of this intuition. They keep missing because of your intuition. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. Day and night, they're attacking you, but they keep missing because you're listening to your intuition. And your intuition is guiding you towards some type of beautiful love story here. Or something that somebody wants to take some type of action. Somebody's about to take some type of action towards you. And that is where your focus needs to be. Okay? And that is what your focus is on. I feel like you focused on whatever you need to be focused on. And it's people that just focus on trying to Disturb your peace day and night. Little do they know, whatever is coming towards you, it's moving fast too with this Mars energy. It's moving fast, and this is this is your North Node here. See, you and your purpose, you you moving fast towards your purpose. See, you're focused on your purpose. This is why you. This is why they keep missing because your intuition. You, hello. In order to even get into your, to your purpose, you got to be tapped into your intuition. You purpose driven, purpose bound, purpose. You know, you want you want to train the purpose, and people don't have the map. They can't follow. They can't follow the 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 the, the path of purpose. You need intuition for that. People don't have intuition. So they're trying to study your routines day and night. But they're going to get lost because, see, you have a map. And you know how to camouflage is what I just heard. So you know how to blend in. Ah, 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 ah. So when they think that they, they, they got you, you somewhere else. Because they done ran past you because you done camouflage for something. Yeah, you, something about you, G3. They keep missing you because your intuition. Let's get deep into the energy because there's something beautiful here happening. You know, I want to 
keep it up since going on. They trying to, they, they really trying to figure out your routine, though. Know? I know, I know that. I know that. They doing some shit day and night. Damn. Damn. Day and night. <laughs> day and night. <laughs> limitless yeah g3 you are limitless like i said you have a map you have a map you are limitless see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways the divine can use anything in anyone i feel like yeah you're about to expand you're about to be in some type of limit it's like nothing is going to be you don't it's like Throw it in a bag. Like, you know, if I got to look at the price tag, that I can't afford it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that type of energy is what I'm picking up on right here now, G3. It's like, yo, you're going to be in the, you going to be like, yo, if I got to look at the price tag, that means I can't afford it. Like, <laughs> throw it in the bag. Just throw it in the bag. Uh, Yeah, something like that. Something like just throw it in the bag. <laughs> you're going to be limitless. Or somebody that's coming towards you going to be like, just throw it in the bag. Hold on, where my divine feminine is at, huh? That's some type of divine masculine poppy, divine masculine daddy that's coming through, boss daddy that's coming through. That's like throwing in the bag, baby. You ready for all of that? Because I don't, I don't think I, whoever these haters are that's doing some shit day and night, they're not ready for this. They're not ready for this limitless energy that you're about to be in, G3. I feel like either you're in this energy or you're you're about to be in this energy with some type of lover or with, with people that you love or just doing what you love. You're going to be limitless. Okay. You're going to be everywhere. Where you at? Everywhere. Ooh. Wasn't that a movie? Limitless? Hold on. I don't know if I'm getting the movies mixed up. Ooh, I'm getting, I'm here, I'm getting Lucy. Ooh, that's what it is. I'm getting Lucy. But Limitless is a movie too, right? Mm. So, if, you know, look up, if you watch, if you know Limitless. But I'm getting Lucy. Remember how she was everywhere? I feel like you 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 tap into that everywhere type energy. You know what I'm saying? You know how I say God is omnipresent everywhere. <laughs> so I feel like you know this is why you got a map because you tapped into the divine. Like you really you really tapped into the divine. And see people people they 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 tried to put limits on you because they thought that I don't know what they thought. The divine can use anything in anyone. I don't know what they thought. See when they when they start putting the divine in boxes and then the divine busts about in their boxes, they be all, they be mad because hold on wait, it's not supposed to be that. It's not supposed to be them. G three they saying it's not supposed to be you. And then I feel like people were trying to put so many limits on you so that it couldn't be you. They did not want you to be in this limitless type energy. And it's just, it's just, yo, but see your soul is in control now, and the soul is limitless. The soul is omnipresent. Because the soul is connected to the divine, to God, to the most high, to mother, to father. However you say this thing, that's what that is. It's connected to the all. And when you connect it to the all, you have a map. You're not trying to run nobody down. See, these people don't, when, 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 when you, when people are chasing you down, it's because they don't have a map. G3 is something about your energy. You have a map. See, it's, you have some type of limit. I'm telling you, you're limitless. And this is why they, they attack you day and night. Because they know that you are here. Queen Esther was here to save her people. Because Mordecai wasn't... Am I getting the story right? Because Mordecai wanted to kill her people or something like that. And that was like the, the king's chief or something like that. And she had to... She had to you you know marry marry the the the, uh, the king and and set and you know expose whatever was going on yo she had a major role she played a major role in saving her people and see it's something about you here G three that you are here to save like I said your people a people you're here to to save your your bloodline however it goes. You are connected to, to the all and you are limitless for a reason. You have a map for a reason. And it's, and it's, and it's low vibrational demonic energy is chasing you down. Trying to find ways to block you, to stop you. To disturb your routine. To knock you off your, to knock you off your routine. To knock you off course. They want to knock you off. They want to knock you off. 
They putting out hits and stuff on you, G3. They want to knock you off. And that's not for everybody. But there's some people here that they're doing hits on. They, 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 they planning hits. They want to knock you off. But what they all don't want you to do is be in this limitless energy. But too late. Because, you're, because you listen to your intuition. You listen to the Holy Spirit. You listen to the divine. You listen to your soul. You have surrendered the ego. You're no, you're no longer fighting the, 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 the human part of you. It's like everything is balanced within you. You are grounded within yourself. You know thyself. You take accountability for who you are. You walk in your truth. You are grounded in, in within the ego. That's why the ego is easy. See, when, when you are grounded within the ego, it's easy to surrender the ego. These people are not grounded within themselves. This is why day and night they attack you and they want to get the map. They either want to take the map or destroy the map. Too late. They pass the, you know, I'm seeing the baton. Yeah, when they pass you the baton, you got the map. Yeah, you got the map and you took off. They say, yeah, they're going, they, they going right there. We know where they're going. Nah, I got the map. I'm going to just go this route. Yeah, G3, you, you know, you know the different routes. You are limitless. Well-traveled. Somebody here is well traveled. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you, you you don't just know about one place. You know about a bunch of places. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how to just get you 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 know. It's like you don't know how to just take one road to to to, to this place. You you can you know how to get different routes. You know how to take different routes. People don't understand this because they don't have the map. And in certain places that the iPhone GPS just not gonna be able to take you. There's certain routes that they just not going to take you. These people are so used to following a certain turn this way, turn left, turn right. You know what I'm saying? They're so used to doing all of that that they're not used to somebody who got, who got their own GPS, their own map. So day and night, they try to destroy those people. But G3, mother said, you are limitless. Uh, uh, and they can't do nothing about it. You're about to expand. You're about to expand, baby. You ready? You ready for expansion? Oh, I like how I jumped out. Ooh, grounded. Didn't I say? You too grounded. You grounded in your heart, too. Yeah. Heaven and earth. Yeah. Heaven and earth is what I'm getting with. Is what I'm picking up here with this, like, purple and this green. Yeah, awakening. Yeah, you awaken to your power. You awaken to your truth. Many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. This is what I'm saying. They try to take, they, they, they try to take down regular folks who's living with joy, dignity, and courage. Those are the most evolved beings. The most evolved beings are not trying to attack people day and night. The most evolved beings are living with joy, dignity, and courage. Fearless. Moving forward. Loving life. Loving the beauty of life. Growing. Expanding. Awakening to who they are. Evolving even more. G3, they got the game mixed up. They look at you like a threat. They got the game mixed up. They, they look at joy, dignity, and courage as a, as a threat. But I feel like you're awakening a lot of people. Thank you, Mother. You're awakening a lot of people. You are showing people their hearts. You are showing people that they did a whole bunch of work in hell, but they never got the keys to their heart. Mm, my, my, my. They exhausted themselves in hell, but never got the keys to their heart to experience heaven, to experience nirvana. See, it's something about your grounded, limitless energy. 
It's something about your joy, your dignity, and your courage. It's something about the fact that you you you, you open yourself up to miraculous ways and things and, and you just believe in the divine because of this. You making people see themselves. You making people see that they never really experienced heaven. That they was in hell this whole time. G3, this is this is why you got to listen to your soul. Because you're on a soul's mission. You're on a soul mission. See, it's a lot of people here on missions. But they're not on, they're not on a soul mission. Mm. Mm. You want a soul mission, G3. I love this energy. What's going on here? Inner power. Exactly. See, see, G3, liberation. I'm telling you, you freed yourself from somebody that was trying or something that was trying to have you bound or 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 like so it's like it's like man, you had to fight to get into this energy. And this is why they want you to, they, you, you fought so hard to get somewhere is what I'm, is what I'm picking up on. Do not fall to whatever, because somebody is trying to, right now, right now, as I'm speaking, somebody is trying to disturb your peace, either on the 3D or the 5D or the 5D. They, they're trying to disturb you energetically. Projected, sending that negative energy, doing spell work. These people go. They, they. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't even think of. Of. Oh, they're not doing that. No, I don't. I don't think like that no more. Mm -mm. Oh, people wouldn't do that. Yeah. No. 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 Yes, they would. There's people out here that's doing the damnest, the damnedest things, the most evil, vile things. Physically and energetically. And all because of joy, dignity, and courage. All because real love is on the scene. And when love is on the scene, it's, it's limitless. It's overflowing. See, they didn't understand. They thought that you were weak. These were weak. Whoever is going against you or whoever is trying, I feel like... These are weak individuals. They don't have the power that you have. Yeah. I feel like you, you've you sacrificed and you've, you know, you broke some type of cycles. You really did break break some type of change. You really did break some type of cycle. Like, you really did. Okay? You really did free your ancestors. You did something here. Okay? You, you really switched some things up. You really got some things in order. You really changed some things around. You had the courage to do something that your ancestors didn't have didn't have the courage to do, and and the people and the family that's around you that they didn't have the courage to do. You broke cycles and generational curses, all in one lifetime. You a beast, okay, and I mean that in in, in the most righteous sense, because I know that oh the beast and. Uh, like nah, like nah. nah. See, I I I went to a, a, um, Berkeley College of Music, okay. When you say you know when they musicians and stuff like that, like that's the utmost that's the utmost praise that you can get, you know. Like nah, that was, you you a beast. <laughs> so I say that in the most righteous sense because it's really it's really some type it's really a demonic beast out here. Or low vibrational beast out here. Or unrighteous beast out here. But yeah, you freed yourself. You freed yourself. You freed your bloodline. You did. You did. <coughs> and I feel like you're still do, you're, and, and you're still in the process of it. You know what I'm saying? And this is why, you know, it's like this is why they they they, they keep trying to come at come after you and come towards you but the thing about it is like I said you are limitless you have the map and there is something coming towards you I want to get into that love energy I do give thanks yeah I feel like give thanks because you're on the good side of karma you're on the good side of karma and they're not okay they're not fill me with gratitude for all you have 
for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Yeah, you are a vehicle for the divine. You are really a... Um, you are the, the presence of God. It's like when people are in your presence, they are in the presence of the divine. Like for real. Like that's some powerful behind energy, G3. Like when people are in your presence... That means wherever you go, you are the presence of the divine. Baby. Powerful energy that you're in. Okay? And I feel like you did a lot of work to get here. And this is why you're on the good side of karma. This is why, like, I feel like, you know, you, you whatever change you broke, it, it, released, it released some type of spiritual inheritance, okay, from your past life. Yeah, there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in this current life. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you uh, you broke a lot of generational curses, and you know I feel like something your your inheritance from your past life is, has now been is now being released to you in this life. So so yeah, so there's some type of love here. Mm hmm. Yeah, King of Cups. I'm telling you, there's some type of love here. Somebody who is very emotionally balanced. Okay. Somebody who is hesitating somebody was hesitating when it comes to you okay yeah i feel like this 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 king of cups sees you they see that you're limitless so you make somebody nervous somebody's nervous here thank you mother somebody's nervous somebody's nervous because you bring transformation and major transformation you bring major changes into people's life like i said you are the divine you are mother father you are the all it was like you know what i'm saying you are just look at the sun coming now it's been raining and and, and just ooh, thank you mother this uh that's beautiful this was like gloomy and rainy and dark all day and the sun just came out um but yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You bring the sun. That's what it is. You bring the sun into people's life. It just is what it is, G3. It's like, and somebody here is nervous. They're, a little, they, they're, they're so nervous, but they, they want to say something to you. They want to come towards you is what I'm picking up on here, okay? Somebody's trying to ground themselves. They're trying to get themselves in the right energy because you, I'm telling you, this Cal, Cal was giving me some type of, who is cow energy it's an egyptian goddess so somebody here is connected to egypt or you have like some type of egyptian ties or egyptian bloodline or just like the something of something about egypt is, is significant here the moon pisces energy yeah this is somebody who is yeah, this is somebody who's really trying to get their, like, they, they, they either still in the process of trying to ground their energy and get themselves where they need to be to come toward you. But I feel like somebody is, 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 is about to come toward you. And I feel like, then I say the eclipse. Okay, so the eclipse was very significant because I feel like it also, like, charged somebody up to make, to take action. Okay? Somebody is listening to their intuition. And their intuition is leading them towards you. Okay, this is some type of king. Of, this is some type of king of cups. Emotionally intelligent. Okay, they they're a little scared though. I am picking up on that. They're a little scared. They they're trying to. They they want to make the right decision. It's like you know they're still kind of some type of somebody don't want to be hurt again. Is what I'm hearing. Don't want to hurt again. No more pain. No more pain. No more pain, no more rain, no drama, no more drama in my life. So somebody could have went through some type of traumatic experience when it came to relationships, you know, so very traumatic, you know, abusive, verbally, physically, emotionally. It's like, you know, somebody really got beat up when it came to relationships. And I feel like somebody's in that energy, like, okay, I'm, I just don't want no more pain. This could, this could even be you too. You know what I'm saying? Both, both, both of you guys could be mirroring each other and, and say, Saying like you know i don't want no more pain i'm, I'm afraid of you know I, I i'm not i, I don't know if i want to do this again you know what i'm saying i'm afraid to do this again but the thing about
about it is, it's like, I feel like both energies, you guys are both emotionally intelligent. So this is why you have to listen to your intuition right now. And and I feel like because the, the in, your intuition, the ego is telling you, you know, no more pain, no more drama. No, we're not doing that no more. Remember the last I've heard? No, you got to surrender the ego. Okay. Surrender the ego because the, the, your intuition is saying, no, 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 this is, this is, this is not that. Okay. Oh yeah. This is not that. All right. Things are not, you know, this is not that. That's what I'm picking up on. I am picking up. I'm also picking up on secrets. So something about secrets here. So somebody has some type of secrets. They feel like they blocked from you. Somebody, somebody wants to come towards you, but they feel like they're being, they're blocked from you. And I feel like, yeah, because somebody could be doing some, 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 somebody could be trying to, then I say they're doing, doing something with the energy. So somebody is being blocked from you with some type of magic. Somebody's doing some type of magic to manipulate the energy, to manipulate them. And this is some type of king of cups. This is somebody who's like, yeah, I'm picking up on somebody who is normally, who's very emotionally balanced and intelligent. But it's like they they feel they feel stuck, and somebody feels stuck right now because of some type somebody is doing something day and night because they found it's like somebody somebody learned wow somebody learned your routine to do magic on you day and night so be mindful of that I feel like somebody here is in some type of fog it's like they want to move or they want to go towards something they want to do something but it's something blocking them and it's because somebody in your energy learned your routine just to do work on you day and night my gosh just to weaken you. So you don't make a decision. So I'm telling you, somebody's playing on somebody's intuition here. And they're not playing on their intuition. They're playing on their ego. They're playing on their ego with some type of magic, some type of manipulation. And they're doing this day and night because they know somebody's routine. Yo, be mindful of who you're having around you is what I'm picking up on here. Because people will just learn you to, to destroy you. And it's somebody in your energy right now that's trying to learn you to destroy you. So if you, if somebody here, if you're normally emotionally balanced and normally good on making it, and you're like, yo, what in the world is the problem? Some, it's some, something, I'm, something's going on in your energy. And it's because somebody learned you just so they can manipulate your energy day and night. They wanted to weaken you. Yeah. But there is some type of light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, something is changing around here because somebody here has the map and somebody here doesn't. So somebody here is trying to weaken somebody who has a map and somebody here. And, and, and it's like, but but it's like, this is this is crazy. All I know is somebody's worried. Somebody's stressed out now about this. Somebody here is a chosen one or something like that. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's for money. Thank you. It's like, because I was getting like money. Like, it's like somebody's doing something for money. But they're still going to be in poverty. So somebody tried to do something to weaken you for some type of money or something like that. Okay. But now they're frustrated because they're losing their job or they're losing something. Or they're trying to get somebody to lose something. So 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 there is magic being done on, on, on this relationship. But I feel like somebody already made up their mind, and this is the problem. Somebody's like like why can I move and I already made up my mind and I feel like it's because somebody is doing something in your energy this is why you're so they're telling you to think bigger like it's something about they're working on your they're working on your on your mind they're, they're working on your on your mind it's so, so so you got to think bigger so anytime you have some type of low or or like negative thoughts or just this thought that it's like, use your mind, create the reality that you want to create, okay? With your mind. Because somebody is trying to 
get you to not create, not use you are the co-creator. This is what I'm saying. Like you're very powerful. You're everything about you. You're, you're, you have the map. You are connected to the all. So you, it's like somebody wants control over your mind. So they're doing some type of magic manipulation with the energy day and night is what I'm hearing to get your mind to have you to have your mind all over the place. So this is why grounded is here too. So go out, go out in nature, go sit by the water or go to the water or, or, or whatever you do, go sit in the water, drink some more water, meditate by the water. It's like somebody's trying to keep you in your mind because they don't want you in your emotions. Mm. Because like I, ah, cause like I said, you are somebody here is normally emotionally int intelligent. So it's like, what is this? But see, if you somebody, if somebody stays in their mind trying to make sense of it, this is what this is how the the manipulation and the magic can work. Somebody has to get into the water, get into your emotions. See, something about whoever this whoever is doing this to you day and night, they can't swim. Or they don't know, they can't go as deep as you. It's something about you being connected to the water. You can you can swim in deep waters. They can't swim in deep waters. They can't get you. See, like I ah, it's like you 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 a fish on land. You know what I'm saying? Mother is saying, yo, just get back in the water. They can't, they'll never be able to get you there. <laughs> they'll never be able to trick you then what do you like get back into those emotions like what do you love what do you want go to like what is what is what is bringing you life what is making you happy and it's like ooh, that's gonna make you you know and, and i feel like that's gonna get somebody to realize like oh I, I need i you know i need to move towards what i love in G3, I feel like this is somebody that's coming towards you who's, who, is who I'm picking up on. Because I feel like you are, is, you're who somebody loves. Or this could be them, however it goes. However I'm, but I feel like somebody's coming towards you. Because they love you in their emotions. And when they get into their water, they, they, they meet you. Oh, it's two water spirits. It's two fishes. Something about you or you you just you just waiting for them to get in the water. <laughs> and it's not like you sitting here waiting, you know, I'm not saying that you waiting for anybody. I'm just saying that like your divine counterpart is just they're just they're being guided to the water. They're being guided to the emotion. They just gotta get into the water. Once they get into the water, they'll get into you. So, like I said, somebody's hesitant, somebody's nervous, but it's they're nervous because they're in their mind, but they got to surrender their mind and get into their emotions so they can move. Because somebody's doing some type of work on, on, on your mind day and night. But see, they can't get into your water. Hmm. These people don't have the power to get into, 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 into your water. They don't know where the water is. They, they don't have no soul connection. These are very 3D, earthly matrix you know just right here type beings that put on a form of like they have a connection to the soul or a connection to the cosmos or a connection to the to the all and, and all that they put on they, they 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 it's a form of that but they don't really have that see it's something about the people that i'm talking here you, you have the map you can get into the water the people that's doing work on your mind they can't get into the water they don't even know how to swim. So if they get into the water, they won't. They won't come back. Every 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 water that they get into is is Lake Lanier. <laughs> every water that they get into is like Lake Lanier. It's like they they might not come back out. So they don't they don't like to stay by the water. They don't like to go by the water. They because they, they they might they might not come back out. <laughs> but see you, you got clearance in the water. So this is why they're telling you. If you if, if if you normally are emotionally balanced and stable and you and you know that you made up your mind about something and this is what and it's like you're like what's going on get into the water get into your emotions go towards what you're feeling f f trying to fix trying to get get the oh what what do I know about it f that because they're messing they're messing with that get into the emo get into the water.
page of pentacles here yeah good news is coming good news is coming towards you all right i feel like yeah these are these are pages this is what mother is saying these are pages pages that's trying to take your job low vibrational energies that's trying to take your 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 love low vibrational energies that's trying to take your finances your like they're trying to take something that's yours okay somebody here is posing as a student is what i'm hearing an open-minded person a student somebody's trying to pose as some type of open-minded person student a scholar someone that's willing to learn that's that's the per that's the page Whoever's in your energy, I feel like whoever this is, what is this, Virgo energy? This is a Virgo. They lack and they lack independence. They lack stability. They, they lack security. This person is reckless. They're, they're shady. Okay? This is somebody who's weakening you. This is somebody who's trying to weaken you day and night. Somebody who's a shady-ass individual that's showing up in, in, in somebody's energy like they're an open-minded person, like they're a student, like, you know, they're, they're, they're one willing to learn, someone you can count on, someone that can increase your income. Nah, this is a page. This is somebody who lacks independence, stability, and security. Somebody who, who recklessly spends money, who don't have no type, who don't, who don't know how to... They spend money on anything. This is somebody who is shady. They make shady deals, shady investments. They do shady shit. And, and, they, and the shady shit that they're doing is messing up, messing, they're either messing with your mind or your lover's mind. Or this, your, your divine, your divine um, counterpart parts mind. However it goes, this is what they're doing. They're trying to weaken somebody. And I'm hearing, yes. Yes, that's what they're trying to do. All because they don't want somebody to it's like somebody don't somebody is doing all of this so so you don't go towards somebody or that so somebody doesn't come towards you but it's not going to work because of the divine timeline and then, and and i feel like just just get into somebody got to get into the water because somebody here is somebody here is like yeah they're, they're determined to stop somebody from moving forward Okay, somebody here is determined. Yeah, somebody here is determined to stop somebody from moving forward, but the will is about to turn in somebody's favor here because I feel like somebody's moving, somebody's going to go towards what they love, some type of partnership, some type of union, something like some, some, something is coming together. Okay, it's like somebody doesn't, somebody doesn't want somebody to, to move forward, they want somebody to be in fear or they want somebody you know what i'm saying they, they're playing on somebody's mind they're using magic to play on your mind to get you confused okay to delay you they don't want you to travel they don't want you to you know they, they don't want they, they're trying to restrict you somebody is you doing magic day and night to try to restrict you but your soul is that your intuition is saying just get into the water they can't they can't restrict you when you get into your feelings when you get into your emotions whoever this is is very selfish ruthless Okay, devious. Somebody who is like, it's premeditated. Like everything that they do is premeditated. It's nothing. Is nothing is ever like a coincidence for this whoever this is. Somebody here is very like premeditated with with everything. Like somebody here thinks that they're so strategic and they're so smart and they're on how to like destroy people or like somebody somebody could want to destroy you. But they did something. See, they moved too quick. They moved too quick. Somebody thought that they, they had it all figured out. Like I said, but they premeditated that. Somebody always, you know, getting 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 things together behind the scenes before they try to, before they strike and stuff like that. Yeah. They somebody moved too fast. Because like I said, somebody cause somebody here's mind is made up. So I feel like some so this is what has what had happened or what is happening, and now somebody's seeing what's happening and they're like, yo, they're making up their mind about something, about somebody, they're moving forward, okay? They're dropping some type of king of swords, some some type of somebody here was like a, a narcissist. They drop dropping some type of narcissistic behind energy who only who was a page. Somebody was a page. They tried to put themselves in some type of emperor or empress energy, but they were a they were a page. And now, and I feel like, yeah, somebody learned you to, to mess with your mind day and night, but your emotions, they don't know that you like, you, yeah, you letting go, you letting go of them. You letting go of the past, you letting go of all of that. I feel like you letting go of something. Yeah. 
some type of peace re resolution. Yeah, you're going towards peace. You want peace, and that's your karma. Peaceful resolutions. That's your karma to move on and leave whatever, you know, whoever was trying to cloud somebody's mind. Somebody was trying to cloud somebody's mind. They didn't want either you to move towards somebody or somebody to move towards you, like I said. And it could have been a bunch of people, okay? Because they were doing something day and night. So it was like shifts. People were taking shifts on how to stop this, this, this god or this goddess, okay? of sacred power you are a co-creator with the universe it's like everything you do turn into gold so i feel like some type of love is coming into like two lovers are coming together and whatever they put their hands on is going to turn into gold and they was doing everything to stop this but i feel like you got your mind made up on what you want to do and somebody else got their mind made up on what they want to do and there's going to be some type of peaceful resolution because somebody's letting go i feel like everybody's letting go of their past except for the past the past still holding on to the goddamn past, but not you. You you on the good side of karma, and you got things to be happy for, okay? You are limitless, all right? And you are doing, you you are on your soul's mission. You are, you are helping, you are awakening people to their soul, to their heart. I'm hearing that you'll always be protected along this journey. You'll always be safe along this journey. I'm hearing nothing will ever be able to stop you. No demon that's roaming hell or earth will ever be able to knock you from your position in heaven. Yeah, it's something about you that it's something about you. It's, it's like, yeah, who, it's like Queen Esther. Yeah, the queen and the king is coming together. Okay. Somebody was trying to, was trying to, somebody was in the king's ear. But the king's emotions, how the king felt about Queen Esther about Esther took over whatever was going on in somebody's ear. So don't listen. I'm telling you, divine masculine, if there's somebody in your ear trying to stop you from moving to, towards your, your queen Esther, towards your queen, towards your empress, ah, they are working on you day and night. Magic. Yep, yep, that same person, that one in your ear telling you don't do it. That one. And divine feminine, if there's somebody in your ear telling you the same thing, yeah, they're doing work day and night. Trust your soul. Trust your intuition. Okay? I love you guys so much. If you got anything from this message and you want to leave your good donation, all that information is down below. And if you want a book, that information is down below too. Thank you so much, G3, for rocking with me to the end. And if you want to participate in the 16K flat style, do it, do it. Tomorrow is a wrap. It's over. It's over. Don't, I don't want to hear nothing on Monday. All right? So you got today and tomorrow to get it together. I don't want to hear nothing on Monday. <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye.